for episode 3, Hell is Empty, of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Um, later than I wanted to be, but um, I'm going to do a full playthrough today and we're going to finish this. I'm not sure how they're going to wrap everything up after how the last two episodes have gone, but um, I'm going to save for reserve judgment until probably after the fourth bonus episode, Farewell, where we get back to um, Max's perspective. So without further ado, let's start Hell is Empty. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Arguably, though, she's both, since she kissed her full on the mouth, but that's okay. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Aw. Good, because I want to hear it. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife, and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm gonna tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Okay, this is a little weird. Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Interesting. When I was in high school, there was this is a one weird person doing this, but I'm intrigued. Everyone adored her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes 
I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Okay, do I... Do I look at that? Probably I don't look at that again. I probably look at this now. She was so alive. So passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. Yeah, not dancing like that. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Okay. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape she was doing? always there. Oh, there's a needle on the floor. That's what she's doing. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. was wrong. Eventually, I saw her. For who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. By anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Okay. Wait. Yeah, all right. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel? It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. Still it kissed was her. a kiss goodbye. I told her, and I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again. And again. To keep you safe. Hmm. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's 
our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes, but Rachel, it cannot be. Why do I have to say anything? This is none of my business. All right, sure. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. You probably did. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. Maybe people change, right? Maybe I don't know, so. She's totally in Frank's van. But consider so. that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel, I think I need to lie down. I would agree with that. Is she gonna like fall over or something? No, nope, she's good. It's a cool statue. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. I want to go look at the statue real quick. I know it's not important, but I just want to look at it. It's really cool. Anyway. Um, I kind of want to talk to her mom. Her dad's still a bag of dicks, but there's less dicks in the bag than we originally thought. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, Aww. considering everything. Okay. Rose. Do you need any help with... anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's yes, in can. the breezeway. Door to the left of the fridge. I will take things off your plate. The fuck? What's the? Why does it want me to look at the shirt? Hey, cool graphic. It's Rachel like is really getting rid of this. <laughs> Do we steal her shirt? For donation? Well, no. If it's for, don we don't need another shirt. We have all the shirts. I mean, I can sweep it up, too. Um, here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Really? Thanks. But... Why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. I mean, yeah. It's fine. But Rachel's the one who's really, really upset. Doesn't really affect Chloe. Rachel's. She has every reason to be. The main one that's being there affected are by all this. Many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Yeah, like how does that even feel? <laughs> she chose money. Yeah. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It's probably it that's valid. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what yeah, he did really. at the Overlook? 
it might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. Damn. I don't understand. You don't I don't know, have but like, good on her for not feeling threatened by that. Or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? Though. I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. Uh... His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. Uh. It's so weird to look at this now. Not really. Even if she didn't have her, she's still her mom. Why are there all these... They're just random women all over the place. Ah, should I use their computer? Probably. This I'll seems do it like a, a James and Rose bookshelf. I already looked at those. I can't imagine Sarah and Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so Oh, I already looked look at this. At. I remember this. Um, what's what's in the what's this? Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. I'm and shocked. again, so is Frank. I don't know. I'm not nearly as worried about Frank as I am about the other ones. He just cares about Beans and his dog. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. Oh, I like the one behind it could her. Be far worse. I want all of these statues. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. Oh, there's butterflies on the lamp. Oh my God! I all these little it. eggs, Easter so eggs. That's why you never told her. Life is strange, eggs. You have no idea what pain. Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I get that. But you should have found a way to have a, like a mature conversation with her about it before you met Sarah in a public I, place. I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would this do something to Rachel? This is what I do. I scold Rachel? the game characters. I'm good at it. I don't it. think she would <laughs> deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. Mm. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Mm -hmm. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around that. here? Okay. It wouldn't surprise me if she were. There's a there's a file right over there. That's I don't know if you've seen it, buddy, but like is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. Mm -hmm. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. It's weird to get to know Rachel's parents so much in like this series. Like that's probably even though I have my issues with this kind of prequel, it's interesting to meet them finally, but it's also kind of hard knowing what eventually will happen to Rachel. Um which has kind of been like a sore spot with seeing her and Chloe get so close like we have kind of the dramatic irony I guess of knowing that Rachel will eventually end up dead and so it's this whole thing feels like really melancholic because of that
没错。Some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. I'll tell you how. I'll be a big spoon. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so、uh, alone. You don't have to be alone to feel alone. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Strengths: creative, passionate, loving, devoted, and diplomatic. Weaknesses: self-centered, volatile, possessive, and dramatic. I was born on a cusp too, but I was born between Taurus and Gemini, so. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, above all, I don't know. The yin and hadas yang of before Rachel, all、remember. else be armed. Yeah. Rachel has so many inspirations; she can barely keep them all contained. That was something I always kind of wanted to do: was make an inspiration board just to have. But God, I don't have any space where I live right now. Oh, that's cool. I、This、like it. This light needs more light. Or we need to turn the other lamp off. But wonder、okay. what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Hmm. Did I already look in the duffel bag? We were so close to making our break last oh, night. Oh, that's what's in that. Okay. Now is there a section on how to walk fours? God, I love all this shit. shit. She's in the same、drama? stuff I am. No. Just trying to figure out who she is. Hmm. Yeah. Well, tell her why. Oh my God, these half-assed conversations are stressing me out. I can Always. Always. It's like this. Yep. I just don't want to. Well, you should want to. It's your key to getting out of Arcadia Bay. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Okay, what's the real deal with that fire north of town, and when's it gonna come down here? Jesus, and its fiery hug of death, asking for a friend. Bros before bronies. Oh my God. Guy, forget King Wolf. This is a strange one, friends. A B F D sources say they've never seen anything like it. No idea where it came from. No idea why it's lasted this long. Total mystery. Time to put on your tinfoil hats and start speculating. My God, these usernames, man! Occam's razor, people. That's fun. Um, planner. Share all graffiti or planner. She'll could think it's cute. Another subject, maybe. But which one? Herbology or anatomy? Oh, she's gonna draw a weed leaf. I thought she was gonna draw a flower, but that's not what she's gonna do. That's the one. Wait. Yep, that's what she did. That's what she did. What is that? Oh, flowers. I think. Yay. 
At least she'll have something from tonight. Yay. Why was there just water there? <laughs> so convenient. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Um... I don't know about Rachel's that. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Stars are really cool, and I really want that constellation globe. I'm leveling with Rachel so much on stuff Maybe right now. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Something... Rachel said. On stage, I think Rachel said... The corners of the world are mere prologue. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Let's fix her light before we talk to her. Can I close that drawer? Nope. Okay. Um, yes. Now turn the other lights off. Do it up, please. <laughs> Shine it right in your face and turn it on. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Okay. Turn off the lamp. Make it super cool. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. Check it out. Aww. It's... beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? It remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. How is it rotating? It's not on its base. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. The stars suck. Um, I, I actually, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to say that one. Eh, sure, we'll just say Fuck that. the stars. We can make our own. See, that was nice. Yeah. <sighs> it's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. You better. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Well, that's not I'll true, take it. but like... Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. 
Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. I'm not gonna leave. What kind of bullshit is that? No, that's just nothing else that's gonna happen. just after she said that I was just like whoa I gotta get out of here the fact that she's here right now that she came here for me yeah well what's her agenda why now I think I need to see her is that wrong honestly I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Let's go fix up that truck. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> Really? I'll give it my best. <laughs> I know you will. But even if we find her... How will I talk to her? What do I say? Whatever you want. After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's also super spooky. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. Then I met you. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us right right oh no Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. 
That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of uh, my favorite memories. The porn stash came out. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. Alright, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? the problem? Don't you see anything? There's no engine. There's fucking nothing there. Like what? There's nothing here. Really? That's odd. Well, I know it's not the spark plug. I just got that replaced. What? I said it's not the spark plug. There is no spark plug. You're on a chair! Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. I'm not a real bird, Dad. Well, <laughs> you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Oh shit, an invisible truck. Dad. Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a... Bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's You're going gonna to die, be though. Okay. What the shit? Shut the fuck up. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. No pressure though, right? Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Mm. I have a question to ask you first. 
I mean, a favor. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? Yeah, I saw you looking at her. Yeah. I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real dickhead. That went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? A whole bunch of shit. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Okay. Uh, let's look at our crappy report card. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Boo. Alright. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Warren? Hayden, Zach. See, there's all these people that we haven't seen at all in this one. Hmm. Figures. Um, what? Oh, okay. Nice to see my work is appreciated. <laughs> A further layer of nuance. Thou art an idiot. Aw, it's us. <laughs> yeah. Except Go I don't skip. think that's actually us in that shot, but that's fine. Maybe it is. But yeah, it is. Piss head frontman. <laughs> oh, piss head, that was his band. I thought they were just being creative with this. So much has changed. Bad. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Laundry. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Well, maybe you should text her back. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. I don't think that's what it is. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Sorry, board. Oh, did I kill a plant? I've got a real ride to fix up now. Oh, it's dead. Water the dead plant. <laughs> Uh, what? Better than nothing. Oh my god. It's already dead, man. What's your plant's name? What's its name? You're welcome, plant. It's it's freaking dead, Chloe. Dad's favorite jacket. Aww. Definitely taking that a fridge. Why don't you wear it? You should wear it. Is mom playing music? Oh god, it begins. Hmm. She's going to murder us. You're the one that tried to drug her, man. Yeah. <laughs> so true though, what the hell? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, it's from all the people from the play. 
Is that Ew. David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towels. Pr Lots of washcloths. No towel. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Gross. Manly crit pomade. <laughs> got that manly grip. That's how you know you're a real man. You got that grip. No awesome pirate towel. Where is it? Where is it? <sighs> Score. Believe Max and I oh, there's so blue hair dye. This blue hair. When we were kids. Wait a minute. Put it in Captain your hair. Bluebeard's hair dye. Do it. Max was going to make me a pirate. That's wash away color. I was gonna say. It. You should do it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water. Don't let me down. Never does. I have two bonus outfits. What, what's the bonus outfit? Okay, and what's the other one say? Classic Chloe. Okay. Let's do the dragon. I like that. I always click the wrong button on this part. No, keep it on. Keep it on. I always have to press exit. All right. There we go. One last. Thing. I have a Funko Pop right in the way of where it says what I that need to X get button Dad's tool does. So I, can so fix that I always hit the wrong one. Dad's toolbox oh, should me. be in the garage downstairs. Okay. Let's 
Should I? Should I snoop? I should snoop. Unless David's in here, because that'd be gross. Can I throw all his shit out the window? I would like to throw all his shit out the window. Ah! We forgot that condoms were in there. Yuck. She, for once, Chloe says nothing. Shit. David really is moving in. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Uh oh. Is today Mother's Day? Shit. Hmm. <sighs> oh. Can I just give that to Mom again for Mother's Day? She's gonna notice. He sold her ring for three hundred dollars. Don't like that. Sports cars are really good for hitting the chicks. Chances I can avoid mom or David. Slim to none. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. So she works at a I shop can't shop. stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> You are one class act, David Madsen. Mm. Huh. Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. I mean, if he wasn't a dickbag to Chloe, it'd be fine. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Shut up. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. Eat a I, dick. Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I, uh, uh, have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? 
I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. Oh, does he? It won't take but a minute. Is it a nice thing? Because if it's not a nice thing... Mom. You won't suck a... It's my fucking pancake. Chloe. I... <laughs> Chloe, uh, stop. I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Give him, like, 30 seconds Please. at least. I... owe you an apology. Yeah, you do. Let's hear it. Quit being a dick. Chloe... I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. Mm -mm. I was, uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. I mean, that seemed pretty heartfelt, so, sure. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Mm-hmm. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. Why not? Did you make me a pancake? I've been... Meaning to show you something. Maybe. Maybe now's a good time. Okay. This. is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Mm -hmm. Becker was. killed. near the end of our deployment. Mm. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. You don't know exactly what she's going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can. But I appreciate what he's trying to, help to do you right now. Get over the loss of your dad. Be nice, Chloe. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Don't be Here. a dick about it. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. I mean, that'd be a huge dick move if I just threw that back in his face. So yeah, think about it. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? All the things. Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. 
This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. shot in the junkyard. Better. But still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Hmm. Okay. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Okay, so we need a wrench. Or pliers, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Weird way to say that, but okay. This thing seems pretty gunked up. Yeah, that's not great. I think I should move on to something else. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure, we'll just go from left to right. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Like a screwdriver? Yes, yeah, scrape it into the car. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Yeah, what'd you do? Why did you do that? Go back from whence you came. Who the fuck is texting me? Okay. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? With a wrench. Except probably not. Yeah, no, that's not going to be right. It's a belt. We'll try it, though. Oh, okay, maybe that will work then. 
Yeah, all right, cool. <sighs> Much better. Okay. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Yeah. Sometime before I was born. <laughs> At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Okay. I love how the squirrels make Kilala noises like in Inuyasha. It's like this the same thing noise. This is going to the fuck up. Yes. What do we do about blow? Okay. Maybe. Doesn't seem advisable. <laughs> oh my god. Sick. You have cancer now, Chloe. Clean it. Spark plugs busted. I didn't Carbon like that there was like a panned out view of someone of there. Of course. Oh. Well, your dream told you what to do. I know how to fix trucks now. <laughs> Don't use one of her shirts. Yeah, do that. Cue someone walking in. Or something weird about hey. her reflection. Junkyard queen. Or nothing. Where are you at? Damn, girl, look at that jacket. We both hey. have cool jackets. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass, too. That shirt looks awesome, too. I might add. Thanks. You like anything that starts fire. I hey, like that they have different dialogue things sure for the clothes. But someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. What's up, fucker? Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his oh. fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I 
I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. Why are you like this? You heard what happened to Drew. Right? Well, I don't have any fucking money, man. Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Rachel, don't. Don't fucking touch her. Fuck. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Because you were threatening Chloe. Maybe don't do that. Bag of dicks. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. Unless you you don't. know her. Maybe I'll show you. See, okay. you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we it let them see? on beans. We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this. Why are you together? Why do you care so much? Because fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Aww. Got it? Okay. Rachel, don't. No. Rachel. Tell God, she's gonna me do it. where she is now. Rachel. Wait. For real, a what's minute. going on? <laughs> oh. No way. Oh my God, his laugh. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither, but I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Don't. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to. And how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. Rachel, what the Don't fuck? Get oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh, you fucking bitch. What the actual shit, Rachel? <laughs> In the truck. Hold on. Shit. 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 Hey. Hold on. Okay. Rachel. I can't be bothered with the teachers. Always try to get out of there. Jesus.
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. That guy you have a file on. Demon Merrick. Why does he hate you so much? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Did Start you go to high school with him too? And tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not, not going exactly. to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So Be honest with him. I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing of course is that how it became violent it was it was actually Rachel who got angry she was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was this is exactly what I've been afraid of Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. Um... What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have. Um... Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Okay, Mr. Amber just won a lot of points back with me.
Hey. Steph. Oh, she's probably here for Drew. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. okay. Sure. Definitely. Like your necklace. We match. <laughs> it must be his dad. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. One more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Oh, I thought there was a plant in a chair. It's just like, have you been helped? Damn. Are these all firefighters? Oh. Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died. And not a single one described how I felt. Oh, that's pirate ship. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it one way or the other. He's alive at the very what least. About Damon? So. Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh. That's weird. Okay. All right. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. John Prescott. Hmm. What's he writing to the hospital about? Oh no, let me read it like you read the other ones. Is this for real? Okay. Administrator Hofstetter, one of your current patients is Andrew North, a student at Blackwell Academy who was injured on school grounds. As the physical safety of its students is a core responsibility of any school, Blackwell has failed Mr. North in this instance. I would therefore like to personally, and I stress anonymously, cover it all. Oh. Interesting. And a little strange. I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. Oh, can I talk to you? I mean, you're on the phone, but... Let's look at this first. Is this Drew's room? I probably have to talk to him before I can go in there, right? All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Drew's hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh. Uh, I had a bit of trouble with work. And it's all been pretty hard. Anyway, Drew managed to Aww. scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. I'm glad things are starting to work out then. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sure. Okay. Both of those boys have been acting oh, a little. No. Well, Don't make me tell you things. Guilty. 
lately. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I, I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. They actually have helped me out. Money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Alrighty. That could have been awful. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Can I graffiti his cast? Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> just, uh, trying it out. Sometimes you've just gotta do something new like make your whole hey, head blue any news about rachel her mom seemed hopeful rachel's stable she'll probably wake up soon how she get hurt you'll think i'm joking when i tell you but i'm oh not oh my god the tv's crooked what happened she got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking merrick Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no. Somehow we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. Mm -hmm. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out. Okay? They're gonna hobble over and beat him up? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. <laughs> Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should... Probably head over when I'm ready. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. I, I mean, no pressure. I, I know it's gonna take a while. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh. <laughs> Uh, right, right. Why are you mad at me? I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. Steal your fucking pudding. Oh, I can't steal his fucking pudding. Ooh, I want to eat that. Right now. Dude, his leg's all busted. You don't get pudding. You gotta be busted up to get pudding. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Correct. Drew's been in All a right, lot fine. of pain today. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Written on an index card. Interesting. Maybe it's folded. Look Scientists can't tell. Wells being nice for a change. Well, oh, there's your homework. That'll be an interesting read. 
Well. Damn. An oh. eight out of ten. Jeez. All right. I think Bill Anderson I'm was gonna one of head the out. possible dads on It was really great Mama to see Mia. you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah. At least the Tell movie. Tell Rachel we're sure rooting for play. her. You bet. Don't be butt hurt next time I'm here. I left you your pudding. Yay. Alright. I'm gonna look at everything on my way down there, though. I just had a flashback. Hey. Just heard the fire went out. Those guys went look out. exhausted. You Probably. Mean it's controlled. No. It's completely out. Unless you get stabbed. Everything about this fire is <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Rachel's mom. Rose. Hey. Chloe. I can't even express thank you so much. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. God, this hurts me so much because they do so lose close, her. Oh my you? god. Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. Rose? I will. She told you to call her Rose, so it's okay now. I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. You really are. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while <laughs> my guardian angel how are you not great better with you here Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. 
happy that your dad's here. I mean, I'm still mad at him for everything he's done. But it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. Mm -hmm. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. No. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course. Whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. Your birthday, to probably? Your your dad's office? Zero seven two two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. God damn it, Rachel. Shit. Uh, uh, hey, Elliot. Hey. Wait. Hot dog man. Your hair, it's different. Correct? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. I like your shirt, too. I didn't know you were into dragons. Who the fuck isn't into dragons? Valid. Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of happened. Uh, no, not, not a problem at all. So, what's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. At the moment, I'm here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. God, I guess I'll stop by after I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right. Of course. I mean, she's also passed the fuck out, so... Are you... 
Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. I oh, don't know, man. Um, what do you mean? What? I don't even know what you mean. It's kind of weird that Rachel's being so private. Isn't it? No, it's really not. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? Mm -hmm. So, obviously, something is going on. I swear, man, everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Appreciate it. Thanks. Ya. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Sorry about it. Mm. I don't get a choice to not go find Sarah, huh? Okay. Hello? Still love their house. Interesting. I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that if it can rain ash, I guess it could snow in LA. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Dad award. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. What was that? Sweet. A secret key. Oh. Now to find the secret lock. That's that drawer. Oh god, that startled me. to look at in here? Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? I have no idea. Oh, man. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to look at. Boozes. 
No, I'm not going to graffiti anything. Well, do it for the achievement. That's not... Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to draw on. Chloe, what do you think this is? Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. James, this is enough. When you told me at the park that you weren't going to let me be a part of Rachel's life, of course I was angry, but I understood your need to protect her. It's your prerogative as a parent. But sending that man to talk sense into me, threaten me, you're losing the moral high ground here. What kind of a way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter and the lawyer I spoke with agrees, but more importantly, Rachel has the right to know who her mother is to know the truth. Do what you know is right, Sarah. She has a point, but she's in no position James to get high sure and mighty. James lots of files on people. He's, he's the DA, so, yeah. Welcome to Shadyville. Okay, I'm interested in the letters Sarah first. Sarah sent all these letters. Oh. James never gave them to Rachel? That's kind of bullshit. So messed up. I wish these had dates on them. So either this is super pure and super awesome and she's super nice or she is manipulative as fuck. And it could be either one. The Sarah in this letter doesn't mm -hmm. seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Hmm. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Yeah, really. Back on my shit list you go. I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. Go all the way, okay. Okay, so this person was sent to find Sarah. Ooh, he's talking to Damon. So is he going to have Damon kill Sarah or something? Like, okay, I need to reread this. Or at least threaten her. Okay, tells you help me with my problem. And this was only about two weeks ago. Because that day that we're on now is May 8th. We called a night I found who you were looking for. Call you in 15. This isn't a cherry I'm going to need to do what we talked about. 
I can't. I wonder what he couldn't do. I mean, I assume pay him, but he has money. Because I talked to your girl and she has a big mouth. Turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need to be more hands-on. This is today. Don't hurt her. So that was... Oh, wait, no. So maybe... Okay. We're on the 9th right now because we were at the hospital for so long. Yesterday was the 8th. So now this is today. So he's probably having Frank talk to Sarah since Sarah was talking to Frank before. Hmm. James is Interesting. working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? Threatening him could be one thing. I don't think he would respond well at all to a threat. But that dude is the DA. Simultaneously, Damon does probably have some dirt on James. So we'll just start simple. What evidence? Shit. What do I say? No, you're new at this, so I'll give you a pass. Don't fuck with me. Let's see proof of the evidence. Okay. Hope James actually what has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. So I assume maybe in the file? This James was on has Frank, a file on Frank. But... Okay. I'd get love out of that. to read this. Like, get out of that. But I've got to focus on go, finding go, go, Rachel's go, mom. Go. Uh, maybe over here. This looks promising. That looks like a box you'd put evidence in. This must be what Damon was talking about. Ooh. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just... Did Damon really shoot someone? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. All right, let me read this. 22 casing, the lumber. I've never seen him with a gun. So, but the knife, I have seen him Could with a knife. Could this be the evidence? Damon and knives seem like a solid bet. Eli, is this okay? Who is Eli Forbin? And how did he get killed with so many things? Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. Um, let's exit. Well, we know he has a knife, so... I don't know which one it is. Sure. Just take a picture of all of it. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Ah! <laughs> it's gonna be the bullets.
If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Can you fake burn it and not <laughs> you just throw it away? All right. Better not touch that again. Okay, now stomp it out. What? Fuck you. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. We are spending a lot of time here. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching. Everything is not fine, Mom. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Okay. All right. I guess I could have looked at that before doing all the evidence shots. Request to a name. Okay. So. Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I know I like him. We're this is that asshole who was selling firewalk shirts. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to say Sheldon. Um, especially since... Could this douchebag be the snitch do Damon's the talking about? Can we just do this guy? Oh, fucking no. Damn. This will be tougher than I thought. Maybe I should dig around for some evidence. Well, you had a file on him. Can I open that now? This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess let's read the other ones too. Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. <laughs> I'm not throwing Frank under that bus. I refuse. He's important. Okay, what about this dude? I agree to aid the courts on future cases. Oh. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Okay. So maybe it was him. 
Which one was him? It was <laughs> seriously him though. It wasn't Frank. Wait. I was gonna say, no. Fucking. I don't know. Sure. Okay, good. That was Gerald. It was him though. Oh my god. I don't. <laughs> what else can I get? Frank didn't do anything. Do I have to? I don't want to accuse this dude either. Let's just make sure before I throw Frank under the bus. No, don't hurt Jonah from Tomb Raider. <laughs> ah. Payment? Fuck. Don't ask how much. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? Sawdust. I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. I fully expected something to pop out of there, like a rat or something. Ooh. Money. Holy shit. Yeah, get that lighting right. Okay. Fuck, that's Sarah. Oh. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Why are her pants off? Oh, bitch, I'm about to kill you. There's probably no way to avoid going there, right? Uh, I knew that would happen. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Yeah. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? The hey. fuck, Elliot? Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Yeah, and you're also in Rachel's house Did for no really reason. Did you just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. Could be weird. I'm worried about you. We'll go worry somewhere else. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe. What is... Ah! Fuck Elliot, Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. <sighs> and you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? Am you, I gonna have to backtalk him? You wouldn't understand. For being a C word. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Why don't you fuck right off? I, I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But, but you're the one putting yourself in danger again. Correct. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. Fucking why? What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... 
You don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. I think it would have ended up in a fight anyway. Uh, I can see why you'd think that, but it wasn't her fault. It's never her fault. That's the point. No, that Stop. legit wasn't her Stop fault. Stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. <sighs> Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. Because I threw myself under the bus. I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end. As usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Mm -hmm. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God. I mean, that was Look, fine. I I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but... This isn't about that. I think it is. Seriously, man. Y you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet him. long enough. No, not long enough. Back talk Look, him. Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Because I want to manipulate Elliot, you like this. I, I promise. N no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. I was expelled. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. I don't have to. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Oh my god. Me. Take your butt hurt Rachel. somewhere else. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now. For once. What the hell are you doing? What do you think this is? Elliot, please. I know you're upset. But... I'm not upset! Jesus. I'm trying to help you. What is wrong with you? Elliot's gone full blown crazy. I. I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. You little... We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. You can eat my entire ass. Hurry, baby. Did you do it? All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. <sighs> okay. What's really going on here? You can tell me. You mean here? Specifically? Yeah, like, tell uh, them where you are. The Amber House? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is in danger. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. I do need help. I need help immediately. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I feel trapped. Boxed Fuck in. Fuck yeah. I desperately want to leave this situation. It takes a lot of guts to tell me all this. And I want you to know that I will always be there for you. 
no matter what. Fucking creepy. Don't look over her shoulder. Don't look at the phone. Yeah. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here. What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, shit, um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. Yeah. Smoke. I was just like, look at that weird tree fog. So much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad. Who's been lying to her all her life. And he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I just don't know anymore. That's what makes it so horrible. James Amber, the perfect dad, and... James Amber, the scheming asshole, would act exactly the same around Rachel. Oh, sweetheart. You're a terrible liar, so I couldn't have been much better, right? Would you love me less? I guess it depends on what it was. That's the trouble, sweetheart. The truth's risky. And the idea of you loving me even a little less, I don't think I'd ever want to risk that. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. <laughs> so how am I supposed say. to tell you anything? I wish you'd told me when you could have. You don't like the perfect relationship we had? I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up. Mm -hmm. 
no word. My ride, my tunes. Seriously, going in to face Damon Merrick. All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Yeah. Hella crazy. Oh, no. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. I would say, yeah. Frank? Jump scare. Frank! Just kidding. I mean, Frank's obviously okay. He's probably hurt, but... I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Is there blood inside that, too? Jesus. This is bullshit. Where the hell is Sarah? Ugh. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, why can't I graffiti over that? Glad to see the bone made it. Yeah, get the knife, take the knife, yes. <gasps> Arm thyself. Oh no. That's really depressing. I liked him a lot. Alright, um, I think. I'm pretty sure that's everything I can do here. No oh, more beer. that's not subtle at all. No more time. I've got to keep moving. Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? Around here somewhere. I don't like this. Shh. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going Jesus. Bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand? Why does Your he- Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. 
So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know the mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to... Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. Biggest bag of dicks. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? Can we just talk about what's going on here? Okay. What should we talk about? Whatever James promised you, he's a liar and a cheater. He'll screw you over the first chance he gets. <laughs> you think I'm a fucking idiot? James Amber came to me because he was desperate. And now, I'm squeezing him for all he's worth. You bag of absolute no. dicks. Talking's over. Leave her alone. Shut up. What the fuck? Yeah, it was me, bitch. You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burn the evidence? All that? I'm just trying to help. Help? Oh, Get away from her. I said shut the fuck up! God. <laughs> No. Uh, uh. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! What did you oh, do? Ho, 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Frank. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sarah. Okay, I guess I fuck this up. Is that really... Is that really what we're working with here? Sarah? Chloe no, we're having a weird Price. dream. Where's Frank? Or, or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Wait, is this real? Sit. I don't think this is real. I can't decide. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. Wh what exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that- Rachel? Can never know. 
Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know, I know Rachel little. needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store and a truck ran a red light and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I, I, I don't know anything about addiction, but I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I, I recognize I might not you. know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Clearly not. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. I was gonna say, yeah. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? It's different, but I see your point. 
The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Disappear. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. She have a butterfly What too? you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. Shit, lady. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Okay. Well, that's crap. Ow. <laughs> so, like, where's Frank, though? Oh. Hello? Chloe, Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute. Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed. <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. I was gonna say, cover it up with Fuck a tattoo. Yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Like, she's so fucking fragile right now. Telling her everything will just ruin things with her and her dad. It'll ruin things for her. She and her family are just starting to stitch back together. Sarah's gone. 
but I don't want to lie to her. And like, what if I lie to her and like Frank tells her at some point she gets shitty with me and everything falls apart that way. Oh my god, this is such garbage. God. I want to be honest with her, but God, I don't want to, like, mess her up anymore. But how can, like... Like, okay. Just think if it were me. I don't know if I could, if I could live with myself not being honest with her about what happened, but the problem is it'll hurt her more than it'll help her to know... What's wrong? I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny. You seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know wherever she is, she loves you very much. How do you know that? Because, why should she be any different from the rest of us? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't totally looking up what the other one does right now. Creepo. Yeah, you best get the fuck out of here.
Hi, Rachel. <laughs> they would end it like this. that came with the deluxe edition, but just speaking to the trilogy of these episodes, like, it, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about this story. It's kind of, it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek, like, hey, all this shit gets to happen because we need a story, but like, don't tell Rachel anything happened to her, her life will fall apart. So technically, it doesn't have to fit into the canon of Life is Strange in that respect, and so it felt kind of cop out I guess. I don't know. I enjoyed it, and it was cool to see Rachel's family, and it was cool to see Chloe and Rachel together, and to get more of Frank's character involved in everything, but like when I originally heard about this game coming out, I thought maybe they would do like the week before Rachel goes missing or something, and so there would be that intrigue. Jefferson and Rachel together and like other things you know, towards the tail end so I don't know why we started here Oh, Ashley Bird I love you okay. um, it's interesting that we started here and now I'm a little suspicious that they're going to try to pull like, like straight before the storm 2 or whatever and like continue to fill in the gap between where they started here and life is strange, and I kind of hope they don't do that, but simultaneously, I'm gonna buy whatever content they throw out to add to the story, which is unfortunate, but, like, I'll do it. Um, life is strange is obviously, like, the best was the original. This was fun, but it didn't feel like part of the canon, like, original story. Um, so I have some mixed feelings about it, but overall like it was it was entertaining and there were parts of it I really liked like Chloe's dream sequences and her dealing with the death of her dad it was really interesting to see her to be with her all the time instead of be with her sometimes only when she was around Max and to see how how Max's ignoring her over the years affected her and how she coped with it and how angry she was about it and it made me like this game genuinely made me like Chloe more and like Max a bit less. So, yeah. 
it's just it's it's kind of it's interesting how I feel like I I liked it but I didn't at the same time. Um, but yeah, I don't know, and I'm interested to see what the bonus episode with Max farewell whenever it comes out adds to this and adds to Life is Strange. So. Man, it's completely evenly split. What do my friends do? My friends told her the truth, you bitches. Oh, okay. You ran. Oh, this is all the choices. Okay. I didn't mean to be mean to Joyce. I didn't think that was mean. I think that was just honest. So one thing I did read when I did the quick Google search of um, that ending was that if you ask Rachel to give you her bracelet, you can then give that bracelet to Sarah while you're talking to her in the sawmill. And then if you do that, like Sarah will show up while they're sitting at the lighthouse and like Rachel and Sarah will actually get to meet. So that was interesting. And I kind of wish I had done that now, but I 100% don't regret that kiss. Um, and yeah, the only important thing I did was did was this. And I don't I don't know how to feel about it. Oh my god, you killed the plant with soda. I tried to I tried to water the plant and she killed it with soda. Damn it. So you can't save the plant. You accepted David's photograph. You didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. You visited the Norths at the hospital. You didn't donate to the... Oh, I didn't know I could donate to the Firefighters Fund. Shit! Huh. You revealed to Damon that Thunder was a snitch. Oh, you could have convinced him. Maybe I should have looked at the file first and then... Then try to convince him. Yeah, and see, Rachel didn't meet her mother. Rachel met her mother, so that's if you had given her the bracelet. I guess that's what would have changed it, if I'm understanding the, what I just read correctly. So. What is this? Aww. Babies. I thought so. Oh, why do you hurt me like this? <gasps> no! <laughs> why would you show me that? I knew. Ah, oh, before the storm too. I fucking called it, guys. I did it again. I call all the things. Damn it! Well, now I'm just upset. Oh, more life is strange. We're going to pump out another prequel in about a year. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. Wait, is that the farewell episode? Are we... Oh, no, what's going on? What do you mean, farewell? Was that like a preview for the next one? Is Max going to... Oh, my God, are we going to go back and save Rachel? Are we going to go back and save Rachel? Oh, my fuck. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like this game now. I regret everything I said. And Jesus shit. If that was a oh my god, if that was a preview. If I'm getting that in the bonus episode, I'm going to shit. <laughs> god. Okay. Well I don't even I don't even fucking know. I've got nothing. So yeah. I guess. <laughs> I'm like shell-shocked right now. They just tore my feelings up and then s God, I'm freaking out. I hope that's what farewell is. Okay. <sighs> so. 
Yeah. God. Okay. Um, whenever Farewell comes out, I will be back and we'll play through that one as well. I'm super stoked. I haven't heard if they've said anything about a release date yet, but, um, yeah, if they go by what they're doing, it will probably be next month. So very excited about that. God, I hope it has something to do with saving Rachel or like going back to that time because that looked like a preview and I need it. And so I will see you guys next time for more Life is Strange Before the Storm. I think shit's about to get real. So come back and see me then.